Hello, in this session we will talk about full outer joints of three tables. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. I'm connected to SAP HANA Studio, so we are dealing with three tables. Course table contains data about courses, A student table contains data about the students, and student underscore course contains data about the relationship between student and courses, which student is taking which course and this is many-to-many -many relationship table. Now, in the previous sessions we have been joining these three tables together, first with the inner join, then with the outer join, and now we are going to look into the full join of the three tables. So in the previous session the requirement was that we wanted to see the list of all the students and the courses that they are taking and the result you can see on the screen and we also wanted to include those students who are not taking any course so that we can get the complete picture and in this session the requirement changes a bit we want to see the list of all the students along with the list of courses they are taking and we want to include those students who are not taking any courses but we also want to include those courses who are not taken by any students yet for that we have to go into the course table first and right click on it and choose open contents let's take a look at do we have any course which is not taken by any student we have courses one two three four and if I right click on student underscore course table and choose open content do I see all the courses here no so four course number four is the one which is not taken by any student and if I close the two windows that I just opened and go back to the result from the previous session I don't see that fourth course here which is not taken by any student and the name of the fourth course again is Java I don't see Java here so I need to modify my SQL so that Java is picked up as well so if I go back to the SQL that is creating the results on the screen let me delete everything else and just keep the SQL that was creating the, the result on the screen if I run this again just to verify this is the SQL that is creating the result now if we are joining here three tables first we are joining a student with a student underscore course and then we are joining the result of the first two with the third one so we have talked about when we are joining the three tables together we need to treat the result of the first join as one table okay so that's why let's copy this statement below and just remove the third table from the picture for now and let's focus on the first two tables join but I need to change the uh, name column to course underscore ID because we don't have name column in the first two tables so now we are selecting course ID from student course table so this is the result of the first join and this looks fine we want to pick up those students who are not taking any courses so this is a table that is joined with the course table and let's go back to the SQL tab and let's see what we have in the course table I'm just selecting all the columns from the course table if I select highlight this SQL and run this so this is the third table which will be joined by the result of the first two so the problem is that the fourth record in the course table is not matched with the other table that we are joining this table with and let's call the other table a virtual table which gets created when the first join takes place okay so let's call this a virtual table when the course table gets joined with this table the course ID 4 is not matched with anything and that is skipped and we don't want that we so what can we do what can we do here one thing we can do is we can change the left to right but the problem is that if we do that then course 4 will be picked up but these students will be skipped in fact I can run this statement and show that to you see now Java is picked up 
but we are not seeing the students who are not taking any courses so this is a good query to answer a different business question show me all the courses and the students who are taking those courses and also show me the course which are not taken by any student but here we are not getting the students who are not taking any course so this is not good so obvious solution to that is we need to use a full outer join in the second part the first part doesn't matter and we'll talk more on that in the second part where we are joining the virtual table which is the result of the first join this one with the course table we need to use the full join meaning pick up everything even those records which are extra in this table without any matching records on the other table and also pick up all those records that are extra in the other table without having any matching records in this table and so this is what we get all I did was changed this left outer join to full outer join if I run this I will get the result now one thing interesting you must have noted that in the full outer join I did not have to convert the first join into the full outer join what will happen if I do that nothing the same result I should get but more important thing is not to get the result but to understand what's going on so let's do that full both joins are now full outer join so all three tables are joined together with full outer join so keep in mind that full join could be written as full outer join or full join because only outer join is a full join okay so full join or full outer join will give you the same result okay now coming back to the topic why we didn't have to convert the first join into the full outer join why left outer join is working in the first join and not in the second one okay the answer lies into the same concept that I told you system first joins the first two tables and the result is joined with the third one but why we do, didn't have to put full outer join in the first two tables the answer is pretty simple in short answer is in student underscore course table you will never have a student ID that doesn't exist in a student table okay so let's understand that let's chop the third table and go back to the join of the first two tables so we have an error maybe I didn't provide the space and not the proper alias CS is the name of the table that contains course ID column okay so this is the result of the first two tables joined together now the answer is pretty simple the first two tables that are getting joined here are a student and a student underscore course table now take a look at the contents of the student table the ID column contains IDs of the students and take a look at the contents of student underscore course table a student underscore ID column contains IDs of the students taking courses now do you see any student 6 for example in a student table no this is the student table and we do not have any student 6 what would be the meaning of the record if I put here student 6 is taking course 1 nothing that is a illogical record and that should not be inserted in this table and that's the whole purpose of foreign keys which we will discuss later on but the bottom line is that this table will never have any student ID that does not exist in a student table and that is why a full outer join will never be required left or right will work based on on which side the student table is there could be a scenario where we will have some students who are not taking any courses meaning we can have some records in a student tables where IDs do not exist in a student underscore course table but not the other way around and that is exactly why let me close those two windows that is exactly why 
the full outer join is not required left outer join will work we will never have a scenario where full outer join will give us a different result than left outer join because student underscore course table will never have a student ID that does not exist in a student table in this session you have seen how you can join more than two tables using a full outer join important take home is not the syntax of full outer join but how you plan when you're joining more than two tables and how you keep the work manageable by doing it in the stages